Originally it was I just wanted a change of scenery and then also my grandfather served in Vietnam as a tunnel rat. So I went to the recruiter and told him I wanted to be a tunnel rat and they told me there was no such thing anymore. So I ended up finding out that Cavalry Scout was the next closest thing to being a tunnel rat. I originally joined because my grandfather served, so I wanted to serve also. We were just having a random conversation, and then he's like, oh yeah, I got hit with an ID. And I was like, what? <laughs> you're, just like, you're just so nonchalant with this? <laughs> like, I said, um, okay, well, are you okay? And he was like, yeah. It was an 07, same deployment. Uh, we were in Ballora. It's uh, in Mukdia, Iraq. Whereas we were about to cut the wire, I guess the trigger man saw us and the IED went off and I went flying across the street, um, right past our lead Humvee and broke through a fence with my neck and my back. When they actually called me and told me that I was awarded at the house, um, I didn't know how to react. I, uh, I thought the lady was playing a joke on me. So I, I kept asking her, I'm like, like you're, you're for real? Like, you're not playing around or anything? And my wife was actually in the shower at the time, and I didn't even let her get out of the shower. I went right in there while she was there. And, and like he said, I was in the shower. <laughs> um, so when he told me, I was like, what? No, what, are you serious? <laughs> I thought he was joking. It didn't hit me, it didn't register. Once it registered, you know, I was always waiting for the I guess the rug to be pulled out from under you. I said I didn't even know it was going to be midfield. That's going to be the hard part because I don't like being around big groups of people and then being in front of that many people at the same time. It's going to be pretty challenging. But like I said, I got my service dog and my family will be with me, so I'll be, I'll be all right. I didn't get that excitement feeling until we got the keys and we walked in and we got the address and you know and then I was like okay oh my gosh and then it overwhelmed me and I could feel the tears coming you know but I'm not a big crier so I was like holding them in. It's been it's been a wild crazy ride you know it's it's, uh, it's great I'm really thankful for it. Well hopefully Thanksgiving's at our house. Uh, it's a pretty far drive but it's big enough to have the family. Um, there's just so many things to be thankful for during that Thanksgiving that it would take forever to just talk about it. <laughs> but it'll be a very blessed day. And it's already been blessed, but the blessings just keep coming and we don't even we don't even realize it until it's happened. And then we realize that it was a blessing. And I already talked to my mom. She was like, so we're doing holidays at your house this year? And I was like, sure, I guess. We gotta get the stuff there first. But we're supposed to be having a big housewarming party and everything with uh, all the family coming in and stuff. So I'm really happy. I'm really glad to be the host this year. There's a lot of foundations out there, but what Military Warrior Support Foundation does is, in my eyes, one of the greatest things any foundation could do. It's tough transitioning back to the civilian world. It's really tough. Um, and the foundation's just helped out so much and it's made that transition a lot easier. 